All right, welcome to day 24 of Project Peaceful Purge. Today we're going to talk about the mindset hack of step into ownership. Here's the deal, guys. You are 100% responsible for your choices, attitudes, and actions. Okay? Situations and circumstances sometimes are outside of our control. We can't always control our circumstances. Things happen. Cars break down. People die. People get sick. Um, storms happen, right? Things, life happens. Circumstances happen. You don't have, we don't have control over that, but we do have 100% control over how we choose to think, how we choose to act, the attitudes we're, attitude we're going to have and the choices we're going to make in those situations. So hundred percent control. I, I want you to like kind of sit with that for a second. You have 100% control over your own thoughts, attitudes, and actions. Therefore, you are 100% responsible for your own thoughts, attitudes, and actions. Okay. You cannot control other people. You can't control how other people engage. You can't, <laughs> can't control their thoughts, attitudes, and actions, choices, any of that. And again, you can't control circumstances a lot of the times. Sometimes you do some, there are some circumstances you do have some control over, but most of the time, the actual circumstances, right? Like weather, cars breaking down, something breaking, people getting sick, whatever. You don't always have control over that. Um, but you can always control how you respond, engage, and think about the situations you're in and the circumstances you have, whether it's somebody else or a force of nature. <laughs> um, so Here's the deal. Being 100% responsible can be challenging because it means we're 100% responsible for our own choices. And we don't like that. Starting by way, way back when in the Garden of Eden, right? We have Adam blaming Eve, saying like, instead of taking ownership over the fact, yes, I took the fruit and I took a bite of it. He instead goes, oh, well, Eve handed it to me. So he immediately goes from being respond, you know, the res the one hundred percent responsible thing to have said would have been, "I t yes, I ate the fruit. I ate the fruit you told me not to eat, God." But instead, he stepped into victim mentality, and victim says, I "Other people, it's other people's fault that this is, you know, X is this way." So, and let's talk about the, you know, in the case of the fall, Adam is like, "Well, Eve gave it to me." Eve, who you gave me, God. So he even kind of like puts the blame on God. Anybody ever catch that before? Right? Adam goes, um, you, <laughs> the woman you gave me, gave me the fruit. So it's kind of like, it's Eve's fault. And even actually your fault, God, for giving me Eve. Instead of going like, yes, I took, like, I don't think Eve force fed Adam, right? She didn't hold him down and shove it in his mouth. He took it and took a bite, right? Okay. Oh, please. And then Eve does the same thing with, well, this, instead of saying, yes, I picked the fruit and I ate it, she blames the serpent, right? So that from then on humans, we have this tendency to want to shift responsibility onto other people so that we don't have to bear the burden of being responsible. But here's the deal. Being responsible is actually a place of power. When we know that when we take ownership over our choices and we step into that responsibility, that puts us into a place of power because we realize that we have dis we have an ability to make a choice in situations. Have you ever done things because you felt like you had to, but you really didn't want to? Newsflash, you didn't have to. You didn't have to do it. But because you were operating out of a victim mentality, you did something you didn't want to do. So how do we step into ownership? We make the decision. It's a, it's just a quality decision. Really. We just decide I'm done giving my power to other people. God gave me free will. I have the free will to choose what I'm going to think, how I'm going to act, what attitude I'm going to have and the choices I'm going to make. I have that free will to choose. I'm going to stop giving it to somebody else. I'm going to step, I'm going to hold, I'm going to, going to 
take responsibility for that power that God gave me. No one can make you feel or do anything. No one can even make you feel anything. It, your emotions are your choice. You choose to feel certain emotions based on your thoughts and what you're focusing your mind on. So when you own, I get to decide how I feel in this situation. I can walk into the situation feeling, oh, feeling um, anxious and stressed, or I can walk into the situation feeling calm and peaceful. It's 100% my, my responsibility for my attitude, my choices, my emotions. And here's the deal too. It puts us in this place of power because if we don't like something, if we don't like how we feel, if we don't like the choices we're making, we can make changes accordingly instead of feeling like we have to rely on someone else. So making that choice, stepping into ownership, doing and making that quality decision of I'm going to stop giving my power to other people. I'm going to stop being a victim and I'm going to be responsible is a huge game changer. When we start living our lives like that, that's when the major breakthroughs happen because overwhelm, overwhelm's a feeling and overwhelm is actually a choice. I know this is hard. To, this is going to be a hard one to swallow guys. Overwhelm's a choice. Choosing to stay in overwhelm's a choice. If you are struggling with overwhelm, number one, I want you to understand, I have so much compassion for you because been there. I understand it is really hard, but it's, but what is actually going to free you is when you realize you actually get to decide that you're done being there. And one of the things that creates overwhelm is being in victim mentality and not taking ownership over your own choices. We get into this victim mode of like, well, my husband doesn't clean up after himself. So my house can never stay clean. Or I have all these kids and they, every time I clean something, they come in and mess it up. So it can never stay clean. Or those are some common ones, right? For <laughs> parenting and, and marriage, you know, or even like at my job, well, my boss just like is really stressful and ha always puts too much on me and has too many expectations of me. And right. When we put it on other people, the reason why we feel a certain way, it's giving them our power. But instead we can decide I'm going to, oh, you know what? Yeah. My husband makes himself breakfast in the morning and leaves a gigantic mess in the kitchen. Well, I could have a conversation with him about it. Have I even talked to him and asked him like, Hey, would, if you're going to make yourself breakfast, will you please clean up after yourself? Or even have a conversation of, Hey, how can I help make your mornings easier? Would we, would you like me to prep breakfast for you? So all you have to do is heat it up instead of making a giant mess in the kitchen. <laughs> right. Um, how can I set things up? in my home to help my kids have systems and teach them how to clean up after themselves so that I don't feel like I'm just constantly running after and picking things up after them, etc. Stepping into that ownership and stepping into creativity to help us resolve issues makes a humongous difference. All right. This one is a really big one. If this is one that you're hearing this and you're like, okay, I get it but I also really am not sure how, like, how do I, how do I really step into this? Cause this is, this can be a, this is a real deep one guys stepping in into ownership. This is like a fundamental shift of how you operate. And so if this is one that really is like, if you have a lot of resistance to it, some of you are going to have a lot of resistance. I'm like, um, no, you're wrong. Like, you're going to just like totally like want to argue with me and tell me that I'm wrong, which is fine. You can, you can, think that. Um, <laughs> it's your choice. Um, some of you are going to kind of be like, okay, it makes sense, but how, how do I, how do I, how do I release ownership? How do I make that quality decision? How does that really work? You just, you want some more to dig into this more. If that, if you want to dig it into more, if you have, re, if you have any resistance to this, please, you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me as a member of this, as a member of this challenge, you get a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. So go to the calendar link that I've already shared with you and book a call. If you don't see times on the calendar that work for you, just send me a message or email me coach Amanda at amandacasedout.com. You can email me or just send me a direct message and we'll find a time that works. And I would love to help you wrestle through this and see how it applies for you and how you can step into that ownership because it really makes a huge difference. 
So that is our mindset hack for today. Our task is to assess our main living area. This is typically the living room. It might be a great room if you have kind of a more open floor plan, but assess the main living area. Kind of take a look at it. Is there anything that can be removed from the area or adjusted or even added to help making, to help make keeping it tidy easier? Would putting a basket for blanket for extra throw blankets next to the couch help? Would removing a certain piece of furniture help? What would help keep make the area just feel more tidy and inviting? And what, you know, act on what you find. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.